Yeah. Things are a bit too complicated now. I've got a little complimentary on this. to be here. It's like pretending to be somewhere we're not. Yeah, I'm having an existential crisis every day. Yesterday, or yesterday I just went a bit mad cleaning my kitchen. So it's alright, I've distracted myself from the um, impending day. <laughs> fucking clean. <laughs> As I was saying though, I am trying to um, set my game up in terms of regular like commodities. So I'm spending a little bit more on shampoo. I went round Poundland the other day and I'm resisted by a lot of things. I did come out with um, some, um, some new coat hangers here. Get, I sort of appreciate dogs a bit more. Being able to have little companions that don't talk back. I imagine the universe is a through space and time is like a fixed tapestry. You know, it's like a or just like a book. It exists and we just like halfway through whatever it is, the first page in or whatever. Um, so it's not that, you know, we are travelling through it, but it's, it's already happened. You're just a conscious um, spectator, really, <laughs> looking in. Yeah. Another reason why I wanted to start writing right now is because if you've been following my work to that point, you, you wouldn't really expect that. Like, maybe it's hard to tell whether I'm am I making a point by using this more like generic subject matters, love and loss and all that kind of thing. Is that meant to be part of the puzzle or have I just like got a bit shit up? <laughs> I just exist in this constant like slightly nihilistic, agnostic, limbo of just I don't everything's subjective, I don't have an opinion on anything. I'm sort of done with everything. I think that's where the Lee Birth thing comes from, really. It's just popped out. <laughs> Yeah, we should get this motherfucking bitch shit. Spend the roll on them, treat them like they was Michelin. The dumbest shit is aspiring to cause the actors. Put them in this, open up, they'll see that they're not the bad. 
Cause really they kicking it up top, no cap cap So really it's silly to win anything about soft talks We pass that up When I was doing no now, like, everything in my life was very constant I've been just kind of coasting for quite a long time So the, the things that I was focused on were like really outside of myself Whereas between then and now, a lot of stuff's changed in my life. Like, it feels like things have turned over a billion different times. I've lived in like three different places. Like anything, it's like I have to work so long and hard to get somewhere. By the time I get there, I don't want to be there anymore. <laughs> meaning in something that does feel pretty fucking repetitive and pretty standard, i.e. pop music. Mm. I think it's all about um, struggling with inner demons and like trying to iron things out, trying to find some sort of so you can function, but um, I mean, each each song is sort of a chapter within that, really. Yeah, Adam and Eve are starting off with like, they're looking backwards and sort of uh, biographical songs within like, uh, where, where does the pain come from, kind of thing. Where, where, do they, where do those shadows start? A lot of it is. nurtured that way it's like yeah I feel like there's a whole legacy pass on from one generation to the next of bullshit <laughs> like the most depressing thing you've ever seen just like so much grey everywhere and just like you know those like sort of cordoned off little separated booths of like grey monitors like that big and it's just um that was another like right what, what does that sound like and it's not cool but like definitely a different angle in it In the hustle and get it like how I got to Honestly, it's not in my chemistry for me not to Feeling more blessed than when I just got you In other news, these niggas waste us like they was who got to What if you're wrong? Uh. I got this One of the big like, visual cues for all of this was shit clip art Like the idea of like what does that because it's, it's easy to sort of get nostalgic and pluck out you know let's say Vaporwave is entirely based off it or whatever just to, to find something uh, a bit crass from a bygone era and just go this is new now like I don't really want to do that in any literal like visual or musical sense but the idea of sort of flipping it so it's like right we're imagining the little like paper clip assistant guy or whatever what, but what, what does he sound like as, a, as an instrument or like for a of music or whatever you know what he's the one doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever so <laughs> but that's for that's for other people i don't really care about that i'm happy for things that like exist in this abstract 
floating space. That's what's so good about music for me. So it doesn't, it doesn't exist, does it? It's just in the air. And ultimately, we're all going to die anyway. Yes.